Welcome to another episode of SCIBC TV. I am here with Dr. Andre Krasikov, who is one of the researchers as well as my rehab physician here at i -Cord. And we're here to talk about a study called Choices, which is cardiovascular health, outcomes, improvements created by exercise and education in spinal cord injury patients. We know Dr. Krasikov more fondly as Dr. K. So Dr. K, could you tell us a little bit about this study? Thank you. Thank you very much for coming and interviewing me for this very dear to my heart project that we created with my colleagues across Canada. There are four centers actually participate in the choices. Vancouver is a primary center where I am principal investigator, but there is also Toronto Rehabilitation Institute in Toronto. Uh, Hamilton, McMaster University participated in the study and also Winnipeg, Winnipeg Health Science Center participated in the study. So it's going on across Canada and if people live in any of those centers, they are still able to get involved. You're absolutely correct. And we created the study based on the fact that during the last decade we learned that individuals with spinal cord injury, particularly individuals who are injured with a high level of spinal cord injury, suffering from significant increase in uh, their morbidity and mortality from cardiovascular related dysfunctions. And we do know even from able-bodied population, facts, you don't exercise, you're immobile, you become a couch potato. Your risks of developing of heart disease, strokes, increase dramatically. During the last decade, we learned that people with spinal cord injury, who unfortunately not the couch potatoes, their disease, their paralysis, prevents them from this exercise their risk of strokes increase four times in comparison with people with spinal cord injury. And our question was how we can help, what we can do, prevent them from this early deterioration of their cardiovascular health. And that's where how choices were created. Person have to come, as you know, three times per week. And each training will be involved initially from 20 minutes and then eventually up to an hour. How endured person and endurance will be expecting improve with training. We selected high level of injuries. We selected people with complete motor and sensory injury and people with a high thoracic and higher levels. We have to select exercise that they will be able to participate. That's the two modalities we selected. One is a body weight support training, where people, person will be put in a harness which is supported with a special lift, and legs will be activated with support of volunteers. And another group was randomized into the arm velocity bike, where a person can actively involved with the movement of the, his upper extremities. And we compared how these two different exercise modalities will affect then their cardiovascular functions and other outcomes which we selected in the choices. And as you know, there was a multiple, multiple variety of tests that person has to do before the enrollment into the study. And then we did variety of assessment during the six months of training and then after the end of training and then we follow up with you six months after the training as well. Thank you again for being here and thank you again for watching another episode of SCIBC TV. For more information about how to get involved in this study, improve your health, get exercising, decrease your cholesterol and all those possible benefits that could come from this study, definitely check out these links.